Welcome back, Board Game Hero here. Today, we just received our Simon Comics Volume 1 Pledge. I pledge for the Cthulhu Death May Die stuff, the graphic novel, and the extras, the miniatures. This is purely Cthulhu Death May Die extra, right? So don't expect anything. I didn't expect to receive this today, but I, I saw the update that they released yesterday that... Asia backers should receive within the week, but the next day I already received. This is the this is the next day I already received the item. So yeah, that, that's that's good. Uh, one thing I'm disappointed of uh, I don't I know if I should say it here, but I I paid for the shipping fee in the pledge manager. That's around twenty five dollars, but when I received the box here in my country, I paid another twelve dollar amount just because. I think the shipper uh, made the recipient cover for the shipping fee, which is, I think, unacceptable. So I contacted the customer service about that already. So, yeah. Um, all right, let's go. Let's open this one. All right. So, ooh, comic book extras. Oh, I love this one. One, two, three, four. We have six characters here. We will be unboxing this later. And we have the hardcover nothing nothing else inside we have the hardcover graphic novel of cthulhu that may die that is beautiful and it's very thick okay let's let's do a flip through why not right let's do a flip through oh nice i like the cover here let's take a look at the back first um we have some you know in introduction text here of the story fight or flight chapter one of course we're not going to go through this page by page we're going to skip so that you're not going to be spoiled or something or anything like that um here I'm trying not to be um, spoiled on, on the content, but spoiler alert, I forgot. I'm just going to put spoiler alert before I open it, just because. Alright, so we have characters appearing in, in the book. Uh, characters in the game, like Morgan and Al Capone there. So, it's going to be interesting. Now let's open this one. Now this is very I'm very interested in this. The only reason I backed it, I'm not really interested in the comics. Not really interested in the graphic novel, but I'm interested in what the extras I'm getting for the game. Um this is going to be the content of the product. We have some expert cultist cards here. Uh by the way, in the Cthulhu Death May Die Codex app uh, that I uploaded in Android, and there's also a web app for this. I already updated the, the characters are there. We have also the expert cultists there that you can see, and also in the Cthulhu Dead May Die dashboard app, it's already updated, so you can use the expert cultists there in your games. And um, yeah, so we have tokens here. This is for the detective, and then the painting for the painter. This one, this girl, right? Let's open it. Why not? Let's open and see the. Um, quality. I like the box also. Definitely keep it. So the lead is on top. Like that. There we go. Right. Well, we have the character sheets here. We have Tamara. Let's open it. You know what? Um, If you're backing Simon products and you're in Asia, you're almost like 100% gonna be first to receive the item compared to the other countries because they ship from china directly so yeah i think that's that's a good thing if you are a backer i have tamara here her story at the back we have detective alan inspector alan alan jenkins his story at the back here uh, we have jack truck driver jack munoz is from mexico we have Roku, a French war, French war vet, veteran from Italy, Italian. We have Annabelle. I think that's it. He's Italian, not French. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Uh, we have Annabelle here from New Orleans, Louisiana. 
and we have Lisa or Lisa. She has a Malakoda pet. This is Malakoda. So it, it will be interesting to paint this girl. Take a look at the minis. Uh, sure, why not the tokens first? Uh, these are the tokens. Very good quality. This is for Ins Alan Jenkins, Inspector Alan Jenkins. He uses his detective token. Come on, focus. There we go. He uses his detective token to do stuff. Like uh, it's if it's max level, he can do an extra action for that here. Uh, he gains detective token whenever he use um discover action or investigate action. If he investigate the area, he gains two token, and then he uses that to do stuff. He can reroll a die. He can rest even if he's unable to, and then lastly. He can take an extra action, which is a very big deal. We have six of those. That's also the limit he can he can gain. Um, all, now, next is the painter. I forgot the name. Should be Tamara. Yeah, this one. So Tamara, um, whenever she rests, she can put a painting token on the space. Um, in their space to prevent an enemy attack so other players can use this as well um lastly if it's max level if it's max level here the player rolls an extra green die extra die when there's a paint token on their space so that's two um new stuff it's entirely new there's nothing the same in the core box even in the stretch goals close to that one it uses tokens right so next we have expert cultists we have four of these we have the zealous cultists when it attacks it heals one for each um, elder sign it rolls and the die is two green die okay and then the health is also different it's now three health then we have uh, mad cultists when it attacks for each elder sign uh, that he rolls it also counts as a success Then the health is two and it rolls one green and one black die. Okay uh, Pyro pyro cultist to help two green die and then when destroyed or when killed each investigator up to one space rolls oh, uh, one green die um, If they roll the elder sign they gain one fire. So this cultist when it, when it dies it, ex it explodes um, We have reckless cultist Two health, two green die for the attack. Um, the investigator must take one stress or one wound if they cannot take stress to attack these cultists unless they are at full stress and wounds, right? So, yeah, this is a reckless cultist, like a violent berserker. All right, now off to the miniatures. Let's see this beautiful sculpt. By the way, I already painted all of my investigator miniatures for Cthulhu that may die the only ones remaining are the monsters in season 2 um, but until then I am going to complete before I post it or, or whatever to highlight my paintings but yeah we just added 6 more to those list and it's gonna be interesting All right, this is Tamara Tamara I'm going to really put a lot of detail in this canvas to add a, a, a painting Let's say painting in progress for her. Maybe I can copy this one. But it's going to be boring because it's just green stuff with tentacles. So I'm, I'm going to think about it or just play around with this painting canvas. But yeah, that's my plan. Uh, I love the sculpt. Very nice. As expected from Cool Minis or not. From Simon. Then we have Detective Alan Jenkins. I like the pose of this guy. Very nice. Dual wielding handgun detective or inspector. Very nice bowl hat. We have um, Jack Munoz, the truck driver, Mexican truck driver. So he has a poncho. And uh, I think this is Mexican weapon, native weapon. And also a sort of shotgun here. So very interesting to paint. I don't know what this is. I think it's a damage on the on the miniature, but it's it's easy to cover with paint. 
later on. I look at the details on the boots. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a uh, design on, on his boots. Very nice attention to that detail. So very impressive. Um, next we have um, what's the name of this guy? Annabelle. Annabelle. So we have Annabelle. She's holding um skull, skull on her right hand and reaching out on the left with her left hand. She's wearing a dress, but uh, she's barefoot, so you have to paint that as well. Don't forget to paint that foot there. Um, the hair is curly. Very nice attention to detail again. Every curl on her hair you can see, you can recognize. Interesting. Um, this is the girl with the malakoda. Oh man, I just hope she was not hugging that um container because i want to paint the malaco the head on that container but now it's going to be challenging because she's hugging it and it's almost covering the entire container so it's going to be a challenge to paint the malaco the head inside this container but i will try to do that um yeah so that is um lisa or lisa i don't really know how to pronounce that name but yeah, lastly we have um Rocco, Rocco, another dual wielding person and a backpack. Uh, I like the um, the pose of this guy. It can be used in many things, just not in Cthulhu Death Meda. You can even I, his pose fits very well in Zombie Side games. So you can use that there as well. Dual wielding investigator same with alan jenkins they're both i don't know why they're fascinated with dual wielding uh dual pistols i don't know but i don't know maybe it's it's fun to do <laughs> to do but yeah that's everything you will get in um, cthulhu death may die comics you will get the graphic novel and these miniatures together with their character sheet and some extra cultists now i didn't back the other stuff, unfortunately, I won't be able to show it to you, but other backers from Malaysia or other Asian countries will probably get their copies this week. You can wait for them to upload. All right, so that's it. This is the Board Game Hero. Thank you for watching. See you again next time.